ever since your part and his part are crossed. So I would like us to please come and let us hear from you how God has blessed you through me. I'm sure we've all been blessed endlessly by him. So I would like us to please come out and let us share or let us enjoy your version of events and tell us what has transpired between you and him and how God has used him for you. Thank you. I'm still waiting. Okay, so can I call names? Am I allowed to call names? Okay, I'll do a quick recap of what I said. This is an opportunity to let us know how God has used him to place a light on how your life has changed for the better ever since you've met him. So please, let's get to you. Now we have so Those are the first time his family, probably a good family, but it was a couple of months ago, you, and it was one day, we put it on the blessing, and then we used to see men for it, and we put it on the kind of a blessing, and we just see it, and then. Okay, thank you for, thank you for that. So, who else wants to? Oh, we have a support system. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I stand here today um, as a witness for what God has done through this man of God to many of us, but mostly for my husband and myself. I thank God for sending Papa Sian into Bridgeport, him and his wife and his family, for such a time as this, because many of us have been afflicted with demonic plague. I've been down, I've been frustrated, I've been blocked in our lives. They go to church no more to do nothing is working. But I'm so grateful that God put scriptures in the Bible that He has some pastors, some prophets, some teachers. All of us have different gifts. And this time I have a powerful gift. And it didn't just come like this, I know that. He's a fasting and a praying man of God. He's humble. He's sincere. He's dedicated to the people that he looks after, to the people that God sent him to. He's dedicated to the people. You never call him one time and he's not returning your call in like 10 or 20 minutes. Amen. He's always there. So I stand today to give God glory and praise and honor. I stand here today to ask God to continue to bless him, to anoint him, to prosper in his family. And I would not lift him up unless I lift up his beautiful wife and your children because it takes a woman of God a woman with patience no jealousy because with a situation like this you can't have a jealous woman in your life she has to understand that he's doing the work of God and she does that she's also part of his ministry so I thank her for loaning him to us every day to minister unto us to pray for us and to just continue to shepherd over us, watch over us. Because many a times when we go through the day and stuff come, happen, we give him a call, Papa, this is what happened. And he's always praying, always telling you what God says, not what he says. So I thank God for him today. My God, I thank God for you. 
My prayers and my wish for you is that the Lord continue to bless you, indulge you with his power, his favor, his anointing, and keep you in good health. And no matter what they may say or may say, we know that God is using you miraculously. We know that God sent you here for such a time as this. So we thank God today. We thank you. And I just want to say my special happy birthday. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes! <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thank 
Come here, come here, come here. Come